G'day scrappers, I thought I'd scrap out a few interesting items in the next few videos coming up. Uh, I've been picking up a, a lot of e-waste. As you know, uh, I had that um, operation so I needed to have a bit of a break as well. Um, I've just been slowly scrapping and but doing a lot of pickups. So I've got literally uh, uh, probably uh, 150 computers and all kinds of electronic items I've picked up in the last week or so, so got a lot of work to do. Um, today I thought I'd scrap out this interesting looking um, telecom commander system. It's, uh, well, it's just about a vintage commander system, I I'd call it. Um, telecom here in Australia finished up in 1995. This unit's from about 1993 or two so um we're looking at uh what uh, 28 years old or something so it's uh, getting onto vintage certainly don't see many of these ones anymore um so there uh you'd think vintage telecom equipment it would be you know like really good gold recovery i don't think these ones are that crash hot um, you have to go uh, models prior to this, sort of real old uh, telecom stuff, um, mainly in the uh, 80s and earlier. But having said that, um, this is a commander system, so it's basically just for uh, telephones to connect up a whole lot of telephones. But obviously, they still use commander systems, but a lot more... Uh, advanced these days so look it's just basically a, a big brown box and i don't expect a great deal but we'll have a look all right okay so we've got a whole heap of uh cards here along with the back plane board telecom australia how's that so it's the commander BN 308512 okay so it's dated in 1992 so yeah getting close to um, 30 years but yeah as, as expected and not a whole heap as far as um, gold recovery is concerned um, yeah it's just a you know big heavy box <laughs> and but I've got it something interesting we'll have a look at these cards anyway yeah so uh, yeah not a great deal nothing on the backs um, you know we've got transformers and stuff so this is you know getting on to close to low grade but I'll still probably get away with it being a mid-grade because it does have quite a few IC chips here. Uh, so not too bad. Probably the only really good thing here are these gold pins. And so if I took off these gold pins, uh, it's not going to really devalue the board. It's still going to be uh, just a mid-grade board. Um, Whereas if I took off some of these IC chips, we'd just turn this into a low grade, even if I left the pins on. So the pins don't really uh, count as far as grading boards, usually. So, just break these away. And yeah, yeah, very... You know, very nice little gold pins in these. Um, so definitely worthwhile for me to take them and uh, process them later. Cut away all this metal and, um, yeah, get these little pins out. Even though they're quite light, but they would be uh, really good gold plated for being um, early 90s. Uh, and, yeah, the rest of this is a mid-grade board. So we've got identical boards here. Looks like four of them. Yep. That's okay. At least we've got a bit of weight of boards. Uh, something a bit different. 
yeah, this one's really getting close to uh, low grade board because it's just got too much dead weight. It's all base metal recovery, this stuff. A um, uh, little thing I'd probably do here is uh, after taking off these gold pins, I might as well show you kind of what I do to uh, get a little bit extra value. these pins off okay so same deal as you can see they're pretty good gold plated pins these really nice quite high grade and then um, to save this all going to low grade Try and get a little bit extra value here by trying to break out at least this section here. Now this could you could, you could throw the this section into mid grade, obviously, but technically now that there's really no dead weight on it. You know, it's almost like a telecom grade, you know, because it's just all IC chips. Um, yeah. So I can't see much gold plating in this bigger one. Maybe these smaller ones. But yeah, technically you could throw this into a higher grade, like a server slash telecom, because it's just... I see chips or you could just depopulate the whole lot um, and the rest here yeah we've just got a, a low grade board because it's low grade um, these I see chips might as well come off give us a chance to break one break into one yeah I can't really see much gold plating in this so I'll probably just leave these I see chips they're not going to add any value to my ICs. But at least we've, you know, gotten a little bit, you know, at worst, we can just throw it into mid-grade. At least we get um, five times more than it, it being on the low-grade board. Exactly the same. I'll do the same with this. This board here, it's got a little daughter card on it, which is just low-grade. And uh, yeah, again, we could probably, if we just left it like this, left all the ICs on, even though it has got transformer, we might just be able to get away with this being a mid-grade board. It does have some nice gold pins, might snip some of these gold pins off, um, just uh, from the top. You know, I'll just snip what I can get off like that, just nice and easy, take off these gold pins, mid-grade. And okay, well, we've got a, a much nicer board here. It's got four EEPROMs, and hopefully they're the ones that are showing a bit of gold. So I'll just, uh... oh yep, oh yes, beautiful. As you can see, these ones are, are definitely the gold ones. You can see the gold plating inside, really nice gold plating actually. Um, so really happy with these ones. A lot of the EEPROMs that we get don't show any gold. Um, I'm still not 100% sure what what it is. It look, it, you know, it's a silvery color, and uh, but some people have been saying that it's it's just silver. Um, I'm not still 100%. But all four of these are, are gold plated inside. You can see very nice, strong, heavy gold. So these are really good EEPROMs. And once we've taken off these EEPROMs, let's have a look at what it looks like. Okay, so basically we've got a, a pretty much a mid-grade board now. Um, couldn't uh, grade it any higher, but that's okay because... Uh, we've got some nice value gold recovery here. Uh, one thing is, 
you can see there's a lithium battery here and uh, when buyers bring me boards they tend to leave these ones on these are just as important to remove as any other battery on a circuit board these ones probably even more so so yeah always uh, make sure you remove these lithium batteries send them off to recycling or whatever you do with them and yeah i'll take off the fingers again uh, the pins and we'll leave this as a mid-grade board so that was a good one at least we've got one really nice um board out of uh this uh, commander system so we've got the uh, it's still pretty heavy there's probably going to be a nice power supply here uh, we've got the back plane board it's uh the female back plane board so you can't see the gold pins i probably won't worry about it i'll just get this out and throw it into low grade So I've been coming good as far as uh, um, healing from the operation that I had. Uh, I have been doing a quite a lot of work, so quite a lot of lifting, just not um, too heavy. So I hope to be in full swing within another couple of weeks. <laughs> and street scrapping should be starting soon too, so. Okay. So we've got a bit of a power supply. Uh, looks like there might be a transformer under this cover. It's really heavy, so I think that's what it is. Yep, really nice transformer actually. So I really love getting these old vintage oddball things uh because you know just don't see all this kind of stuff very often and it's just uh it just makes scrapping a little bit more interesting uh because most days all i'm doing is pcs <laughs> and uh, dvds and modems so there we go really nice old vintage transformer um there's no idea on what kind of size it is or anything so I'm just take, sending this straight off to uh, Transformers. Um, all right. And, well, the rest, you know, just got to clean it up, take this low-grade board out, clean up the wire. Not a great deal there. Just uh, one of these things. It's still got to get get it out so I can cut the wires. about this I just want to get it out oh and uh, just wanted to mention with the iPod nanos I think I've gotten I had like 200 of them and I think I got almost at least a hundred inquiries about them 
um, emails from all over the world, people wanting the, the iPod Nano. Uh, the thing is that they sold pretty quickly. My buyer bought all of them, uh, apart from a few that I kept for myself. Yeah, so I sold all of them, so, uh, yeah. Uh, I had so many emails that uh, I just couldn't, uh, it would have been just too much to reply to everyone, so I figured uh, everyone will, will get a um, an idea that, you know, that they'd be sold by now anyway. Because, uh, yeah, that kind of stuff... I don't have any problems selling usually. Um, normally I don't get 200 in one go. Uh, so when I only get one or two or three, uh, you know, I don't bother with them. They just throw them in a box. I might give them to people as they come. You know, like when scrappers come here and sell me boards, I like to, uh, I try and give them stuff. That's not much uh, value for me. So we've got some beautiful gold pins in there. So these will be good. I'll just, uh, just want to cut this part out rather than uh, just taking, cutting the wire here and leaving a big bulky plug. Okay. Best to just cut the wire for now. Okay, so yeah, we've got really nice gold pins in there. Awesome. And this wire. So we've got three more of them. And then I can get this back plane board out and we're, we're done with this. Yeah, so the next thing I'm going to scrap out is uh, a really weird oxygen machine. Quite vintage, so that might be interesting. Um, I was hoping this thing would be, you know, interesting itself, but it's, you know, pretty straightforward. It's, whilst it's telecom, it's not really uh, anything that special. It's just a commander system for telephones. So, but still, it's vintage, something a bit different. So there's our huge backplane board, which I'm not going to bother with these female pins. Um, I'll even leave these pins on it. And because, uh, well, might be able to take these pins off. I'll, I'll, I'll see if I can take one off, because it looks like it might be reasonably simple. It's just a matter of a couple of screws. No, still going to be too much. So I'll just leave this and I can throw this in as a... Here, it's only a low-grade board. Uh, maybe in the States you can get backplane board for it. Uh, but uh, for me, we don't bother here. Just a, ba a low grade backplane board. Some backplane boards can be a little bit better, but the thing is, the really good ones, the ones where you see a whole heap of gold pins, the board itself is really thick and really heavy. So all the weight is still in uh, the, the junky part, in the fiberglass and stuff like that. Uh, some cases aluminium. Uh, so, yeah, it's really hard to value backplane boards, in my opinion. 
because even though we've got gold pins usually, um, the better the boards, the heavier the boards are, it seems. So, yeah. So, that's it. We've got a nice big empty box now we can throw some scrap steel into. Okay. Yeah, so just got to clean this up. Bit of a power board, low grade, mid grade that we took the uh, beautiful EEPROMs off. Get mid grade. It's low grade, and we'll just break off this end. End up with uh, some low grade there. A couple of mid grades, four of them, and another little low grade. So quite a lot of board actually for um, for it and probably the best thing are these four really nice gold EEPROMs so really nice I'm happy with them um, yeah I only get like one in one EEPROM is gold in every probably 25 EEPROMs that I get. Most of them don't show gold. So, well, that was it. Um, I'll clean this up and I'll uh, prepare for the next uh, video, which is that oxygen thing. Um, just wanted to show you one thing before I go. Oh. How's this thing? It's an iMac, obviously. Um, apparently, it's uh, an older iMac from um, before the other all-in-ones came out. And as you can see, it's it's a beautiful swivel stick. Um, it's a really nice, reasonably flat monitor. And this part here is the actual computer. Um, so I pick it, picked it up from a place uh, a week or so ago, and um, he was actually uh, also a subscriber, really nice guy, and uh, gave me a call. And from his office, I got I picked up a whole lot of nice stuff, a lot of Mac stuff. So you can see a nice Mac logo. Looks like this part here actually lights up. You can see beautiful base, uh, like you know, very well put together like a lot of Mac stuff there's all your ports and and everything a little on off button so it's a whole PC all in one Mac um, and I love it and as a lot of you know I like to collect uh, oddball stuff you know computer stuff especially Mac stuff and this is uh, one of the best Mac pieces that I've gotten that's not super vintage or anything. Um, just love the, the mirror Mac logos all over it. And it's just beautiful. Just a beautiful round. It's very space age. And you know, I just love how it swivels really neatly and um, you can sort of adjust it. So I never actually seen these uh, when they came out or... And it's the first one that I've ever gotten. And apparently, yeah, it's 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 an older iMac. So, um, yeah, I'm just surprised I've never actually seen one before. So I was wrapped when I saw it. I thought, oh, great, this is going straight in my little collection. Uh, so thanks to the guy that uh, um, gave me this. And uh, I think I actually gave him a couple of nanos. Um, and uh, so it was a good swap. All right, well guys, that's um, about it for this video. Just wanted to uh, uh, keep in touch and say hello and uh, to tell you that I'm still here and I'm, I'm recovering well. My, uh, my band-aids are still on, but uh, I'm just keeping them on just to be sure, just uh, replacing them every couple of days. I, here's a really oddball vintage item that I'm not really going to scrap out because there's really not much in here but uh, who knows one day I might get the sander on it and uh, restore it Aldous it's actually a projector 
and uh, certainly needs cleaning up. Let me get down here, sorry. Yeah, so um, it's a really vintage uh, um, projector. And here you can see the, uh, the slides where you put the slides into. Slide it in, put another one in. It's just a, a vintage slide projector. Uh, a little bit, you know, obviously it's not in very nice condition. Uh, rusty top. Not really sure what's... I'll just see if I can just take off this top cover. Okay. Oh, wow. Uh, so, you know, all sorts of things in there. Spider webs. A little tr transformer and yeah, it looks like a, a globe oh yeah it's just a big globe and a little cover wow i bet you wouldn't be able to find these globes anymore it's, uh, still uh, very interesting and yeah just a very basic looking uh projector how cool is that so yeah but it might just be something for a vintage collector or someone you know uh, i mean i collect vintage stuff but uh this kind of doesn't really fit into my stuff but i'll just keep it until um work out what to do with it um, i just don't want to scrap it because it's just so unusual you just don't see this uh lens comes all the way certainly needs a good clean up everywhere yeah very basic but i'd imagine back in the day it probably would have been um quite an expensive thing it might be uh yeah i just don't know where it came from um so there you go. All right, guys. Well, that's enough for me. I just wanted to do a catch-up video. Uh, stay tuned for the next interesting scrap item. It's really cool. And then there's uh, the one after that is even more strange. So check that out as well. And don't forget, street scrapping is coming up soon. So uh, that should be good. I'll uh, slowly get into it. I've just got so much stuff here at the moment. Uh, in the next video, I'll, I'll give you a little look at all the computers that I've picked up in the last week or so it's just uh they're everywhere been uh scrapping as quick as i can but uh i can only go at a certain pace at the moment till i fully recover all right guys keep scrapping have fun and i'll catch you soon